All right, so see if we can sketch y is equal to sine of 3x. Amplitude, always use absolute value. The amplitude is 1. The basic shape is the sine curve. So we start at the node, peak, node, trough, node. And now we need the period. All right? So, um... The period is again, zero, less than or equal to, take the argument in the middle, zero to two pi. Put the argument in the middle, solve for x. So, we'll see what needs to happen. Everything gets multiplied by one third to clear this. So zero, one third of three is one, so that's x, and then one third times two pi, this is top times top, bottom times bottom, this is two thirds pi, two thirds, or two pi over three if you prefer. Whichever way you like to write that is fine. Two thirds pi or two pi over three is the same. All right, so I wanna make this a little bit larger than the previous ones because this graph is kind of scrunched together. Here's one, negative one. All right, so from our previous work, we remember that, the previous example, we remember that pi over three is approximately equal to one. Pi is approximately three, three divided by three is one, so this is approximately one. So, this is approximately the same distance. This is one, so this is a little bit more than one. So this is pi over three. I need two-thirds. I need two pi over three, two-thirds. So there's one-third. Approximately here is two-thirds. All right, so one complete uh, cycle, the period we're going to draw over, uh, the interval we'll draw over is from zero to two-thirds pi. So we need to go through one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths. Divide this two pi over three into four equal pieces and label those pieces. Well, we already have the midpoint. If this is two-thirds, this is clearly one-third. Now, if this is one-third, what is half of a third? Well, that's one-sixth. Half of a third is a sixth. And now we know how to find this. This third quarter is always the tricky one to find. But find the, the total distance, half of that, half of that. Now, just start counting in sixths. One sixth, two sixths, three sixths. This is three pi over six. Some people would balk at that. They say you need to reduce three sixths to pi over two. If you wish, you may, but there's nothing that requires it. One sixth, one third, three sixths, two thirds. That's fine. Now we sketch the sine curve in that interval. So sine starts at node, then goes to peak, then go back to node, goes to trough, and then goes to node again. And so sketch that in, try to make it look nice. And so that's the sketch of the graph, y is equal to sine of 3x.